observe the simulation. What can you observe from the simulation? The pollen grains collide with each other in water and the movement is random. This movement is known as Brownian movement. The moving pollen grains have kinetic energy. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to Explain the kinetic theory of matter Relate the changes in heat to changes in kinetic energy of particles in matter Explain the interconversion of the three states of matter based on the kinetic theory of matter The world that we live in is made up of matter what is matter? Matter is scientifically defined as anything that has mass and occupies space. Living and non-living things and the universe are made of matter. Can you give examples of matter? The earth, the air, creatures and sea are examples of matter. Observe the movement of smoke particles. What can you observe? We can observe that the particles of smoke are moving in a random motion. This movement can be explained by the kinetic theory of matter. The kinetic theory of matter states that matter is made up of tiny particles. Particles of matter are constantly moving. The particles will move faster when heated. Do you know why the kinetic theory of matter is important? It explains the movements of particles in the three states, the solid, liquid and gas. It explains the basic structure of matter. Relation of changes in heat to changes in kinetic energy of particles. Click the play button to see the simulation. What happens to the ice cube? The ice cube melts, changes to liquid state and eventually changes to gaseous state. Can you explain how these changes happen? Click the state to know more. Particles in solids have low kinetic energy. The particles only vibrate and rotate in fixed positions. Attractive forces between the particles are strong. This is why particles in solid are closely packed. Therefore, solid has a fixed shape. Particles in liquids have higher kinetic energy. The particles not only vibrate and rotate, but are free to move. 
They slide and do not have a fixed shape. They follow the shape of the container. Attractive force between particles are weaker. This is why particles in liquids are loosely packed. Particles in gases have very high kinetic energy. The particles do not only vibrate and rotate, but are free to move at random rapidly, colliding and bouncing off one another. The attractive forces between the particles are very weak. This is why particles in gas are spread far apart. Can you explain the change of matter when ice cubes are heated? When an ice cube is heated, the kinetic energy of the ice cube increases as the particles move faster. The heat energy is absorbed to weaken the attractive forces between the particles. Particles are able to move freely and thus results in the change of state from solid to liquid and liquid to gas. The three states of matter are solid, liquid and gas. Heating or cooling can cause matter to change from one state to another. Particles in matter will absorb or release heat to change its state. The diagram shows the interconversion of the three states of matter. Can you name the processes involved when matter changes into different states? Drag and drop the correct answers into the empty boxes. Your answer is correct. The statement that describes the particles in the beaker is A. Move freely only B. Vibrate and shake C. Vibrate, rotate and slide freely D. Vibrate and rotate in fixed positions That's not right. Please try again. Your answer is correct. Which statement does not describe the kinetic theory of matter? A. Matter is made up of particles. B. Particles do not have any movement. C. Particles rotate and vibrate in fixed positions. D. Particles move faster when they are heated. Your answer is correct. According to kinetic theory of matter, which of the statement describes the particles in the picture? A. Move freely only. B. Vibrate and shake. C. Vibrate, rotate and slide freely. D. Vibrate and rotate in fixed positions. Your answer is correct. According to the diagram, which statement describes the change in kinetic energy of particles due to heat change? Particles change from A.
colliding to moving at random, B. Vibrating to rotating in fixed positions, C. Vibrating and rotating to move freely at random, D. Vibrating and rotating to move and slide freely. Your answer is correct. Which statement describes the particles in gas when their kinetic energy is released? A. Move freely only. B. Vibrate and shaking. C. Vibrate, rotate and sliding freely. D. Vibrate and rotate at fixed position. Your answer is correct. The process in which particles of a solid absorbs heat to change into liquid is known as A. Boiling B. Melting C. Freezing D. Sublimation Your answer is correct. Sublimation is the process when state of matter changes from A. Solid to gas B. Liquid to gas C. Solid to liquid D. Liquid to solid Your answer is correct. Identify the state of matter the diagram represents. A. Gas B. Solid C. Liquid D. Plasma Your answer is correct. According to the diagram, state what happens to the heat during the change. A. Heat is released B. Heat is absorbed C. Heat does not change D. Heat stays in the matter. Your answer is correct. The process that causes the change of state in matter as shown in diagram below is A. Boiling B. Melting C. Sublimation D. Condensation Your answer is correct. Observe the simulation above. Answer the following questions based on the simulation. A. Write two properties of ice cubes. B. Describe the movement of particles when ice cubes are heated. C. Name the process when ice cubes change to water. D. Draw a diagram of particles in the water when it boils. Ice cubes have a fixed shape. Particles are packed tightly by a strong force holding the particles together. The particles get more energy and vibrate more when ice cubes are heated. Melting. In this lesson, we have learned about kinetic theory of matter and interconversion of three states of matter. Anything that has mass and occupies space. Solid particles vibrate rotate at a fixed position. Liquid particles vibrate, rotate and slide freely on top of each other. Gas particles vibrate, rotate, move around at random. Matter is made up of tiny particles. 
particles in matter are constantly moving. The particles will move faster when heated. The kinetic energy of particles depends on the heat and pressure of the matter. Processes happen when heat is absorbed, heating, melting. Example, ice cube changes into water. Sublimation, solid to gas. Example, the heating of iodine. Boiling, example, heating water until it boils. Processes happen when heat is released, cooling. Freezing, example, water becomes ice. Condensation, example, Water vapor from exhaled air condenses into water droplets on the surface of mirror. Sublimation, gas to solid. Example, carbon dioxide gas turns directly into a solid at the freezing point. Melting. The particles in solid state will absorb heat to gain kinetic energy. Solid will change to the liquid state and the process is called melting. The temperature where melting occurs is known as melting point. Boiling. The particles in liquid state will absorb heat to gain kinetic energy. Liquid will change to the gas state and the process is called boiling. The temperature where boiling occurs is known as boiling point. Condensation. The particles in gaseous state will release heat to lose kinetic energy. Gas will change to the liquid state and the process is called condensation. Freezing. The particles in liquid state will release heat to lose kinetic energy. Liquid will change to the solid state and the process is called freezing. The temperature where freezing occurs is known as freezing point. Sublimation. Solid to gas. When a solid is heated, Particles in solid will absorb heat to weaken the attractive forces. The particles move further apart and escape into the air. There is a change in state of matter from solid to gas. This process is known as sublimation. Sublimation, gas to solid. When the gas or vapor particles lose kinetic energy, the particles move slower. The particles are pulled closer together and the gas changes into a solid. Many chemical reactions release or absorb energy in the form of light, heat, or sound. Have you heard of exothermic and endothermic reactions? What are exothermic and endothermic reactions? Exothermic reaction releases heat and causes the temperature of the immediate surroundings to rise. Endothermic reaction absorbs heat and cools the surroundings.